Here's how to install and use Dropbox on your Mac. Now, if you wanted to get Dropbox so that you can maybe back up files or send files to someone, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we'll do is open up a web browser. Safari, Chrome, doesn't really matter. And we're just going to type in Dropbox for Mac and hit return. Now, you'll be able to see the first link here is Dropbox.com, Dropbox Desktop Experience for Mac. All you need to do is tap on it and then tap on the install button here. Now you can see at the top right, it says Dropbox installer. Now you can open up the file where that is, or you can just tap on it to, or double tap on it to open it. And there you can see on my desktop is the Dropbox installer that has now been opened. All I need to do is double click on this file on my desktop, and you can see install Dropbox, Dropbox double click the icon below. So again, we will double click on this. Now it says it's an app that was downloaded from a website. Do you want to open it? And I'm just going to hit open because I know that this is a safe uh, app that I've downloaded on here. Now it'll go through the process of installing this. Let's close out of all of these other ones so that you can just see this. It'll install Dropbox app on here and it might ask you for a few permissions after you open it up the first time. So once it's done, let's go down to the launch pad here and there is Dropbox. So just tap on Dropbox to open it up and you'll be able to see it will start and ask you for some permissions. So you can see at the top right, do you want notifications? You can choose yes or no. And then it will automatically basically use the login and manage your items and extensions, etc. It might run in the background. Now on here, you can see sign in with Dropbox. So just sign into your account. Let's tap on that. And I'm just going to sign in here and hit continue. On here, it says turn on accessibility. I'll hit turn on. And let's go back here and finish signing in to my account. Now, after you're done signed in, it will show on here accessibility. You want to turn on Dropbox here and you can use your password. Basically just go through this step to finish signing in and make sure all of the things that pop up, you can just tap on it to open it up and you can choose certain things like allow in the background. You can choose to turn them on or off. Now, once everything is done, you're signed in, everything is uh, set up. You can tap on finder here at the bottom left. And now you should see Dropbox on the left hand side. If you don't see it, you might need to tap on Finder here and then Settings. And then you'll basically just look for the Dropbox on the left hand side. Again, you need to make sure that you're logged into your Dropbox. Oh, it looks like you need to finish logging in. So just finish logging in and everything will be synced up. You'll be able to see the Dropbox folder where you can dump files or folders in there to back up, etc. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.